With this video, we're going to explore alternate nostril breathing and Kapalabhati. When doing alternate nostril breathing, traditionally in yoga, we use one hand and the thumb of one and then the ring finger of the other, or the thumb of the right hand and the ring finger of the right hand. And we just find the point here in the nose, right where this bridge comes into the indent here. Not down in here so much, but right up and through here, right? So it's right in that area. Now, sometimes when people are starting out, they can't really, they either holding the arm might be difficult to do. And so then I just suggest use either the thumb or the index finger of both hands and find that point in the indentation of your nose and start it there. The, um, the traditionalists in yoga would probably raise their hand up in horror that I just said that. But really for me, it's, can we actually get it going? And then as the rest of your body comes back online, then we can bring it into one hand, okay? So you choose what makes the most sense for you, whether it's the thumb and ring finger of the right hand, or whether it's two digits, whether thumb or, or whichever finger here you wanna add, but really find that indent place right below that bridge, okay? So the first phase of this is we're just gonna notice our breathing and then we're gonna place either the thumb or whichever index, whichever finger on that indent area, on that right nostril. And then we're gonna breathe through that left nostril in and out. We'll do that about five or six times. And then we'll move over to the other side. So if you're using the other hand, you can bring that over. And then breathe in and out through that right side. We're gonna do that six times. Then come back to regular breathing. And then I'll move us into a couple of body breath. And then we're gonna come back into the alternate nostril, okay? So let's begin by just getting an awareness of where your breath is today and how it feels today. And how does that inhale and exhale feel? How does your mood feel? How do you feel relative to your environment and just how have you been with your day and your day's been with you? And then bring the hand up to help close that right nostril and breathe in through the left and out through the left. One more. Okay, now let's switch over. So now close the left nostril, whether it's with the hand, other hand or with the ring finger, and breathe in through the right. And out through the right. Keep it easy. Open both nostrils and breathe. Okay, with couple of body, the focus, like here's my belly button right about here, the focus comes down to about two inches below your belly button, just above your pubic bone. And we're pulling in on the exhale to help push the air out. So the focus is on exhale, air comes out. And then out of that forceful exhale, the inhale naturally comes in. So it looks like this. So because of the forceful out breath, 
the inhale fills in. So it ought not to look like this because then you all might get into too much hyperventilation. So focus in on the out breath and then let the in breath come in. Now in a lot of yoga classes and when people become a little more experienced with the couple of body breath, you'll see the pace look something like this. But when you're starting out, the pace could simply be like this. And if you need to take a few normal breaths in between each of those powerful exhales, go right ahead. It's just a matter of starting to get used to the motion. The great thing about couple of body is it helps push out stale air that's in the lungs. And we're focusing here on the bottom of our abdomen. The tendency people can be up here. See if you can bring that attention right just above the pubic bone, about two in or so inches below the navel, okay? I'm gonna lead you through 25. You might not follow my pace. So you play out what pacing works for you, and then I'll finish up the 25, and then we'll move into another round of alternate nostril breathing. So here we go. You choose your pace. breath for just a few. And then close the right nostril, breathe in through the left. switch by closing the left, breathing in through the right. normal for a moment. Okay, now for the next round, as you're doing couple body, think about the effort out your nose is no bigger than if you were blowing your nose into a tissue. So it's not this forceful, forceful breath, it's quite gentle. And also think about coming into just the, the, the top part of your nose. So in just for a moment, just think about inhaling through your nose. But instead of focusing right at the opening of the nostrils, think about higher up into your bridge. So as you come into your couple of body and then into your alternate nostril breathing, think about whether you can come up into this area. Okay? All right, so let's give this a go. We'll do another 25 rounds. Your, you do your pace. I'll do mine in terms of 25. You can follow my pace. You can go at your own. Just work, do what works for you. Okay, so see if you can come right up deep into that, into that nose. Gentle exhale through your nostrils. Here we go. Focus on that lower belly. Long exhale. Close your 
Close the right nostril, into the left. Easy exhale to the left. High into the nasal chamber. And switch sides. Breathe in through the right. Exhale, and now notice your breath. Feel your feet, feel your body. Notice how you feel and what you feel. And whether you're now moving into a meditation or a practice or a run or just on with your day, take another five breaths before moving on to your next, next activity or task. Have a great time exploring. We will see you on the next video.